pretty excited. I've got a new addition to my gun arsenal. So, <clears throat> what do I have here, you ask? Well, luckily I went down to our local gun show, uh, the Dougal Gun Show, and I've been looking for one of these guns for the better part of a year. So if you've been following my channel, you know how much I love my Grandpa's 22, which is a late 40s, early 50s Kui Model 60. Well, this is a Kui Model 62 repeater. So basically it's the same gun that he has. So I'll give you just, I'm not gonna go over the whole history, but I will give you just a little brief rundown. So the Kui brand was actually a Canadian made rifle company. They started off in 1909, I believe. And the first gun they had was called the Canuck, which was just a single shot Kui. It was a very safe gun and the action was very special on it. And then basically HW uh, Kui, which I believe it was Herbert, no Hubert. He was the, the originator um, who built the first repeaters. He was a machinist, decided that he could build some guns. So he built the single shot Kui, which became uh, known to Canadians as a very reliable, very dependable, and very accurate gun that you can get for relatively cheap. In 1939 is when he came out with the repeater. So the repeater actually has... <clears throat> A barrel, a barrel tube magazine underneath of it. Whoa, that can hold uh, 11 rounds of 22 LR. Uh, the reason he went with this at the time was, it was a time when um, the 22 short, the 22, and the 22 LR were all being used, and nobody really knew what the dominant ammunition was going to be yet. So he made a gun that could take all three and it wouldn't be an issue. Basically, the so that one was called the Model 60, uh, which is what my grandfather has. Uh, and they made that till 1961. Because in 1961, basically, Winchester bought out Kui because uh, Herbert had uh, passed away. Hubert had taken over the company, but he had already retired and came out of retirement to take the company back over. So... Anyways, he ended up selling the company to Winchester. Winchester still continued making Kui's, but at that point, they weren't the Model 60 anymore. It was the Model 600, the Model 7, then Model 75, you had the Model 750. So if you want a truly Canadian-made Kui, it has to be uh, like a Model 62, Model 60, 82, uh, 75, and so on. So... Before I bought this gun, I actually didn't know about the Model 62. Uh, basically, I've stripped this gun just to have a look at it and compare it to my grandpa's Model 60. Basically, everything is the same. Now, what made the Model 62 unique is they, they made them from 1939 to 1945. And if you actually look on the back side here, there's a flat spot here, right? The reason for that is these guns originally came with a peep sight and it actually came with a hooded target sight and these were actually geared for a target shooting. But it's the same internals, same mechanisms. Like I said, compare it to my grandfather's, uh, right, actually no, I got a picture. I'll put it right here. You can see, you know, all the internals are, are exactly the same. The only thing that's maybe a little bit different is the shape of... Uh, the ejecting mechanism other than that all the parts are interchangeable uh the stock is is the same so yeah so i'm pretty stoked honestly i would love to find the original peep sight and the original shoot the hooded sight just you know to make a, uh, an original authentic now also the difference with the 62 is they, they don't actually have the the little cutouts here for me to mount a scope i was never planning on mounting a scope on this i love having the iron sights so yeah, so that's that's definitely the, the brief history of it. Like I said, I absolutely love Cooties. They're such a dependable gun. And you know what? After taking this one apart and my grandpa's, 
you know, it, it's pretty neat because my grandfather, like, he used his gun er, almost every year that he's had it since he was 12. He used it and shot round after round. And you can tell, like, you know, even the magazine, like, like here, you got little knurls. Well, my grandpa's, they're, like, worn right down. Um, this fits nice and snug. His is kind of sloppy. So, really, mechanically, this thing is tight, tight, tight. But she's rough the barrel's very rough there's some good nicks out of it obviously the bluing is completely gone the stock has been redone a couple times but just looks ugly as all heck so what i'm going to be doing is i'm actually going to be uh taking this gun apart i want to re-blue all the metal i'm going to redo the stock i've um i've scoured the internet I found a couple of the missing pieces I need. Like I want to read, get a new site. This site's kind of rough looking. The elevator for the rear site is missing. So I've, I've definitely located one of those. Yeah, and we're just gonna make this thing another beautiful little cooey. Other than that, there's not much else to say. Obviously you guys are gonna be seeing this uh, in a lot of uh, my upcoming grouse hunting videos. Um, now, the reason I got another Kui is because my uncle will be taking my grandfather's. Uh, that was always promised to him. It makes me a little sad I grew up with that gun, but I get it. That's his son, so he should have first dibs of that. Uh, so I've always wanted to add a Kui back into my life for memories. And just, I know how reliable and dependable of a gun this is. It's a Canadian-made gun, which is pretty important to me. because we, uh, As Canadians, we don't have a whole lot of gun manufacturers. <clears throat> And it's a little piece of Canadian history. Most kids that uh, grew up shooting their grandpa's 22s, I can tell you the majority of them were Cooey's. Uh, it was just a staple of the Canadian household. I believe you could buy these at Sears back in the day for like 50 bucks. Uh, now they're selling for about $250, $300 I noticed on gun post. So the fact that I got this at the gun show for $125, I am laughing. So yeah, so I'm pretty stoked. I don't know if any of you guys have a Kui. I would love to honestly uh, hear your stories down in the comments. I posted this on the Manitoba hunting site and you know, uh, a lot of people have definitely have fond memories of these guns. I love the old guns. There's just something about old guns that just, you know, they're very simple, just rugged, you know. You know if they've lasted this long, especially my grandpa, you know it's a good gun, right? I'm I'm set up now. I got 3006. I got the, the 12 gauge that I can use for waterfowl and turkeys and stuff like that. And I got my 22 now uh, for small game. So yeah, just a nice little short video. I wanted to show you guys my new uh, my new toy. We're obviously going to clean it up, get it out to the range and put some bullets down range and see how this thing zeroes compared to my grandpa's. Well, pretty excited. I mean, 22 ammo is still pretty cheap, so I wanted to have a nice cheap gun again. Uh, also, I want to have a 22, so for when Olivia is ready to start shooting, then uh, she can start shooting with that gun. So, anyways, if you're new here, check out the rest of my content. We've got a lot of good stuff coming. This summer is going to be a little bit different since gas prices are a little bit ridiculous, so we're going to be doing some stuff around town, but I got some pretty interesting things cut down the pipeline, so... Make sure to stay tuned and we'll catch you guys in the next one.